Continue to monitor your variances in the data, and find the cause as soon as possible. Ah! Why does Paimon feel so tired after so much sleep? Uh, it... Not at all. Huh? Paimon thinks you sound kinda tired. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Uh, shall we go? A great idea! Let's get going! Traveler? It's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can enjoy. Oh, are you interested in yup? Hmm. Not <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, and there's also. No problem. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Oh, -ho, I like your confidence. No hesitation at all. Oh, congratulations. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. you know? Don't tell me that you all- What? She was right about- That couldn't have been luck. How- how is this possible? I packed all those boxes this morning. Mind reading? X-ray vision? Or some kind- Tell us what's going on! Since when did you get superpowers? Traveler? Hey, where are you going? What's going on? Did you see something? Us leaving Dunyar's side without letting her know is kinda rude, you know.
You already know that this isn't your first sub Zero's festival, don't you? I'm sure you already know how to use this. A knowledge capsule? Where did you get it? What's inside? You should use it too, Paimon. Uh... Y you know Paimon? Well... This seems... are still scrambled? Try your best to remember. This isn't the first time we've met, and I answered that question a long time ago. Uh, let Paimon think. Oh, it's coming back. Meeting you was the real catalyst for restoring our memories, and the knowledge capsule was just your means of showing our minds the way. Uh, what about everyone else? Why are you only helping the two of us? Your sense of deja vu is stronger than everyone else's, yes? As for an explanation... You two received the blessing of Dendro. And you also have special, sensitive constitutions. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories from your consciousness. A familiar question. I think this is the seventh time you asked that. As you can see, she isn't doing well. You probably sensed it too. The Dunyarzad you were just with is different from the first Dunyarzad you met. That first Dunyarzad is in front of you right now and... She doesn't have a lot of time left. <laughs> Looks like you're almost done sorting out your brain. Oh yeah, I'm Nahida. Good, you passed the test. What's happening? You can awaken our memories, and you seem like you know what's going on. Oh, wait, please don't tell Paimon even you don't know. Everything in this world runs in a loop. This cycle is called a samsara. You, me, and everyone else are all stuck inside a one-day samsara. As for the truth, that's on you to find out. If you were told the truth instead of discovering it yourselves, it would literally blow your mind. I don't know how you'd be after that. I can only give you surface-level help, like bits of information and subtle hints. For the rest of the time, I'll be doing all I can to slow down Dunyarzad's illness. She looks like she isn't doing well at all. Her illness gets worse after each sub Zero's festival. If we can break out of the samsara, I might be able to save her. But as things are right now, she's just a small bird in the sky that's about to lose its last feathers. All I can do is raise a gale to delay her fall. You sure love to use weird analogies. <laughs> analogies are wonderful tools. They let you use existing knowledge to understand unfamiliar things. Okay, so... With what you know so far, what do you think the truth is? said, go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. <sighs> Did he mean something more? You've already experienced the sub Zeru's festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. 
The moon, illusions, and lies. What do they all mean? What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. The moon, illusions, and lies. <sighs> that doesn't sound right. Should be it. The flow of time is <sighs> that you've already experienced the sub. My mind feels exhausted. The moon illusion. Grand Sage said <sighs> that doesn't sound a time loop. We've given similarly wrong answers in the past. Still the wrong answer? Paimon thought that made a lot of sense. It feels like time's just repeating itself. A simple time loop can't explain some of the phenomena. You two are still missing a lot of information. Unfortunately, I can't... <coughs> Dunya is up. The Subzerus Festival is happening every day, but that doesn't mean we can waste an infinite amount of them. Hurry, and find the truth before today's festival ends. Let's think about our current situation. To save Dunya, and to do that, we need to figure out what's happening. The truth. Nahida rejected the idea of a time loop, so... We must have missed something, right? Paimon's memories say that we've already done this many times, but let's go talk to people again. It's more productive than sitting here and scratching our heads. Mm. Hey there! Hey, it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? She... I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them... Huh? What brought this about? I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling protos here today. I haven't felt anything strange. Hmm, um, to put it another way... What kind of philosophical nonsense is this? Didn't you know that no one dreams in Sumeru? Go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with. Uh, he actually has a point. Is this a dream? Is everyone dreaming? Hmm, true. It's so weird that people here don't... Anyway, if this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Hmm. Let's keep asking around. Oh, it's you two. Was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to compliment me in person? Ooh, I knew it! I told you, the god's divination is You're really excited about this, huh? Uh... Help you... So, you're admitting that you don't have... Anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? Huh? Uh, hold on a second. I thought you guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. What you just said... Are you see? I knew you weren't going to believe... Marvelous. Truly marvelous. I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon, illusions, and lies. It really felt like an omen. When you say it like that, the divin- I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. The book only says, if you trust your instincts and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. So that's how it is. Looks like fortune telling is just fortune telling. We haven't made any progress. Who else can we talk to? Hmm, Paima remembers that we tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. You think she'll brush us off again? Yeah, 
If we tap into Dia's strong sense of resp- Hmm, at this- I'm fine, my lady. It's just a- Perfect timing! Paimon, traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous get. Huh? You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? If so- You want the traveler to take Dunyarzad somewhere to rest up a- How did you know what I was going to say? We need to say something convincing! Dia sold her greatsword to raise additional funds. And then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. The moon illusions and lies. My mind feels exhausted even though I haven't done too much. Tell her, traveler! I didn't tell anyone about that. Including Miss Dunyarzad, you couldn't have known. And just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? All right, so this is the... <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type. She's quieter than usual. Uninterested in anything? Yeah, she isn't the same as before, but her parents said that this is how she was like at first. Huh? I, I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench. My lady, are you angry? All right, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my greatsword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyarzad isn't completely safe here. Nahida! We brought a friend! Are you busy? I thought I told you that it won't help to... We just wanted her to see the real... The real Dunyarz... Huh? <sighs> I told you that you two are special. Hold on. Over there. Is that? Wow. How perceptive. Does she have invisible antennae? Miss Dunyarzad, she's... she's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Her condition's really bad, and she's basically in a coma. How did you know she would... I can sense her aura. I... <clears throat> there are also lingering feelings of something like regret. Or disappointment. What happened? Do you believe us now? This... So, you think the sages are behind this? Yeah, they've always been against us. Wouldn't surprise me if they're using the Akasha to intentionally repeat the Subzerus festival as a sick joke. Hmm, you have a point. Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. Right! Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means- The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. A Gnosis could do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical. It's being- So, uh, this Nahida you mentioned. What she said, and Paimon quotes, The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it- Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Hmm, wait. I get the Grant's knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for. But compiling the entire populace's wisdom? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? Oh, yeah. 
That sounds about right. What do you think? People in Sumeru don't dream. Okay, Nahida said, the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. My mind feels exhausted. Even what's happening right now seems to have happened before. <sighs> that doesn't sound... <sighs> you mean the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. When the desert dwellers set off on their quest for knowledge, a sage once said, knowledge always comes at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? <sighs> I love it. In that case... We should take off our Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. Yeah, I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. Mark my words, when this is over, I'm getting evidence and exposing this whole thing. How does everyone feel? Huh? What is it? Oh, that! Paimon knows what you're talking about! It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal! The sound of a beep? Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway! Traveler, did you hear that? I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. We took off our Akasha terminals. Phase runtime has exceeded its expected length. At this rate, there may be casualties. But we cannot lose all of our remembers everything! <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. We definitely took off our Akasha terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? <sighs> but now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nahida, you've never... Hmm... I... The moon? Wasn't that... Anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth, so you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. <sighs> okay then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Paimon's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon.
Ah, there you are. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? Huh? What's wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? You... you didn't get... Huh? What do you mean this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. Shh! How did you know about my greatsword? I haven't told... So Tia's lost her memories after all. Anything strange? You already know that I got a new greatsword. Hmm... If I had to say something... It's weird how such a new weapon could feel so... familiar. It's as if... I've already used it to fight a countless number of battles. You're saying that... although you don't... That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, what do you think? Yeah! Paimon's feeling really hopeful! Oh, you're right! Earlier in the Samsara, something like this would have never happened! I have no clue what you two are talking about, but it's still dangerous. So you want us to take Dunyarzad somewhere else to rest while you check- How did you know what I was gonna say? Uh, uh, forget it. Dia not getting injured, everything seems to have stayed the same. Hmm. Listen, Nahida, we found out that Dia got out just fine today. Even though she got injured every other time she f Do you think the Samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyarzad? Really? Good job on all that progress. Hey! What kind of- Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge. But the only way you can know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. How many todays has it been? Is it possible that today will be followed by yesterday? Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? It's even possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just been one endless Sub-Zero's festival. Okay, okay, no more! Paimon's brain is already shut down. <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety dookie away. Uh, huh? Hold on, what did you just say? Huh? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke duke. That's why I suggested you could try that. Is that so strange? Uh, it's so strange and so against common sense that... Paimon's at a loss for words! You were sounding kind of smart just a minute ago. Yeah, even though it's happy and lively at the Sub-Zero's festival every day, it feels like it's been a long time since... Continue the harvest. Compared to what we stand to achieve, these sacrifices are trivial. We're still in the same day! Nahida, you already knew last night that we didn't break out? <laughs> Would there have been a point? You that spent the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. In that case... You might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your minds. I'm a that the Duke Duke did that! Oh, whatever. Guess you- <laughs> Of course. In the time we've been together, you two have been everything to me. Uh... Paimon's flattered and everything, but... <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. 
That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Nahida's talking about confusing stuff again! Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. Soul Traveler, did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? Huh? Why are you scrapping your previous theory? Oh, yeah! You're right! Gosh, how did we not notice that? In a simple time loop, people's physical conditions should also reset. So, what's your new hypothesis? The moon illusions and lies. <sighs> Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle memory. And... Dia was able to use her experiences to avoid injury in later samsara cycles. Hmm. The beef is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed our Akasha terminals. Okay, Nahida said, the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. We've already experienced the Sabzeru's festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual... If all our memories of a day are erased at the end of that day, then we would unwittingly relive that same day again and again. <sighs> oh! Then the beep we hear every night could just be indicating the deletion of our memories! That's why when we wake up, everyone thinks the sub -Zero's festival hasn't happened yet! It's already the next day, but everyone still thinks it's the day before! But muscle memory can't be erased. That's why Dia has been getting better at using her great sword. Now everything makes sense. Hmm, a brilliant deduction. Nahida, tell us if we're right. To put it simply, it's as if you've mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lost sight of its true nature because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. That isn't simple at all. Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You might learn something new. Right! She did help us find our latest clue after all.